Hello and welcome back to Taylor RC and Racing. Uh, like uh, I promised uh, this week, we've just come back from Blackpool. I've stripped down the car and I'm going to show you the inner workings of the Elcon trucks and what makes it unique. All right, so I promised it. Uh, I've had a couple of requests to um, strip down the car and uh, show you guys what uh, what's involved in the Elcon and uh, they're, they're a unique drivetrain just to see what's inside it and um, obviously we've just come back off a meeting every time we come back from a meeting we'll uh, I'll, I'll strip down the uh, the entire drivetrain just to check the bearings just to make sure there's no issues with it just to make sure that next time we go to a meeting it's not it's not going to let me down you know so it's, it could be something so simple like a little bearing that, 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 will, that will just let you down but if you catch it early you can change it so I always trip it down after a meeting this is it's so simple to, to do and uh, I'll show you right now like um see what the shocks there but we'll go from the engine so straight forward the uh, engine in the middle so it's a uh, Zenoa G290 it's a uh, 29 cc engine modified by Ian Oddy. It's um, now it's 29.5. It's got a little bit of an extended uh, comrod, so it's a little bit overbore. So uh, it's basically on it. What used to be on the limit of what we could have, but in short course now it's 32 cc, so it's actually quite under. But um, it makes a quality piece and uh, it's reliable. You know. I, throughout the whole entire season i don't need to touch the i mean the air the air changes throughout the year but i find that i don't really need to change the uh tune the carb so that's uh, that makes it really uh easy to use and just fires up straight away and as long as i keep the dirt out of the engine it's not going to make a difference but the the only thing i found was um after this meeting was the uh crankcase so if i come come around here you see the crankcase right here it's actually cracked so unfortunately um i'm gonna need a new crankcase but uh this year uh, starting with this year we started using uh, a zelcon we started using um billet aluminium crankcases uh the, the reason we're doing that is to avoid problems like this but also they're uh, a lot more consistent so from out of 10 crankcases of Ian saying that he gets the same sort of horsepower rating out of all 10 of them so it's it's not there's no inconsistencies in the casting it's it's literally you want it that way and that's how it is because it's billet you can make it within hundreds of thousands of an inch it's, it's really 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 accurate so that's what I'm going to do with this engine I'm gonna send it off to Ian and get him to put a billet aluminium crankcase on it. And um, that'll be my European engine. So basically when we go out to the Euros, it'll be the first time that I use this engine again. So it'll be sent off to him at the next meeting. I'll give it to him then. We've got plenty of time to, to do all that. Um, moving on from the engine, we've got the uh, front basket. So basically this comes off of the, off of the uh, rear crank. So. Off the flywheel, we've got the um, adapter for the Elcon Elcon um, Vortex and Trucks platform. Um, that goes into the rubber here. But um, basically, it's like a um, it's basically like a cush drive. It it just cushions the 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 the, uh, the, the piston movement and all that sort of stuff. Um, and then it goes into the starter drive which obviously the hole where I put the starter drive into that um obviously is, is straight on the crankshaft so that's why it starts the engine up on the front of that is the clutch so with Elcon unique to the fifth scale again um we use Teflon clutches I mean Ian does his own clutches that are uh like set to like 10,000 RPM I think they are whereas the Elcon clutches they use the same sort of material for the friction material but if I come around and show you we've got adjustment points at each each shoe so there's six shoes in total on our Elcon clutches and the adjustment point we can 
tune the clutch RPM engagement. So obviously we've got one on the front and then on the rear of the engine, we've got the other one. So the same clutch again, six shoe, adjustable by the, um, by the adjustment screws, six points. Uh, we, we try and adjust the clutches so that we get 500 RPM earlier the front engages so we'll try and engage the front earlier than the rear because we've got no center differential it's um easy it's better it kind of acts a little bit like a center diff engaging the front the front axle before the rear gives you a little bit of pull around the corner and um we find that that 500 rpm difference makes a big difference um we got the rear rear um gearbox apart here and the front gearbox apart here exactly the same 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 gear ratio on both the front and the back um we have uh planetary so four planetaries here we use two plastic gears tef like teflon gears and then two steel gears here and we find that that makes that's the best of both worlds it's the best of the lightness and it's the best of um durability as such um, again, uh, sticking with the planetaries, we've got the ring gear, really durable, and also the planetary in there. It's quite. It's a very simple setup. Four four grub screws hold the planet, the uh, sun gear onto the uh, bell housing of the of the clutch bell, and always 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 use green loctite on these four because the last thing you want is for that to come apart because it will just you just lose drive basically and it's just it's never a good thing so so identical front to back it's very simple like i say like um so the the carrier clutch bell carrier attaches to the drive plate of the of the engine by three points so there's three screws on that and then the car the the clutch the uh planetary gear um cover basically the same three three holes three three holes uh, to hold it on it's very simple i mean within within an hour you got it completely stripped down to the bearings that you want to replace if if you or check even you know in the european championships will be stripping this down after after practice ready for qualifying and then once qualifying's done we'll be stripping it down again ready for right just to check the bearings just to make sure that everything's perfect you know so we don't have an issue where we're out on track at i don't know six minutes into a 10 minute quali we have an issue with a bearing or a drive issue or something like that you know you just want to eliminate all that stuff and with elcom we make it so simple to do the like the easy jobs you know so when when you need to replace or check bearings that are quite hidden away it takes it's four screws under the engine it takes the entire drive unit out and then it's three screws on the front screws three screws on the back just just to remove the uh, drive cups and check the planetary gears check the bearings inside there and it's, it's literally within an hour you can have it apart back together again ready to go and it's that simple you know so the, the the drive train in this it might look a bit alien to anything else that we use in the rc industry you know like so normally we have an engine we have a center diff and it's very simple like that but it looks alien but it's actually very very good it really works well so we, we do well with this car it's the current european championship in the four-wheel drive buggy i mean these guys are they're, they're sponsored with ape scale cars so they're they're quick you know and 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 it's the current european champion so you know it, it means it makes it it just goes to show how good the car works you know so i mean like coming off of the back of the meeting that we just went to blackpool i've had the car apart just trying to see what we got i mean i found that the front the front shock so both front shocks i mean i I think you can probably see that shock shafts are bent so we'll, we'll be replacing them uh i've got a couple of spares in the box so i'll be replacing them for the next meeting it is something that i never didn't notice until it's obviously happened during the run but 
you know, and then and then another thing that I said about in my last video was about the uh, the pump that operates the front brakes. So we got a um, a servo connected to a pump, and this pump, obviously, when the servo operates, it does it pushes the air through the pneumatic tube into the brakes that I showed you at the last video. So that's another thing that's unique to Welcome. Obviously, we need to uh, check on our drivetrain constantly. You know, like it's it's not about it failing. It's just about a peace of mind, just making sure that things are tight, making sure that the bearings are all good. Um, one thing I do I did notice after stripping it down after Blackpool after a half an hour final um, is that the drive cup on the rear. So you can see I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but I'm moving the moving the drive unit and the cups actually stand still. I mean the grub screws that hold the drive cup in have actually come a little bit loose. They've just wormed the way out a little bit. I do use green Loctite. I mean for, for most people that's like Jesus, it's like literally permanent but for the drive cups you really need to use green Loctite. Make sure they're tight and then after every heat that you go out on the track just Hold the hold the um, clutch bell and just check the drive cup just to make sure that it's not loose because that will really upset your day. You know, if that's loose, it will. If it comes proper loose, you you lose all complete drive to that unit. So just something that happens after all the vibrations and stuff. Even with green Loctite, it still comes loose. So it's it takes a little bit getting used to having a completely aluminium car compared to having a few pla like plastic bits on a ape scale car, you know, but once you get used to the fact that everything's aluminium and you don't need to lock tight, you know, you can lock, you need to lock tight everything, but it doesn't need to be green, red, you know, you can, once you get used to using the lock tight and getting the bolts out, it, it's really easy to work on. I mean, everything is machined within thousands of a tolerance. It's so easy to, so easy to put together such a good concept and it really is a brilliant car and it, and it just proves it on the track like time and time again like coming forward like moving forward throughout the year like, it, like i've only been in rc for the last couple of years and then i've come on board with elcon but it, like with phil just showing us what 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 the elcon can actually do it is an absolutely amazing concept, it really is, and it just proves it on track. We're winning week in, we, every weekend we're winning in Europe, in the UK, it is brilliant. So I'm really excited about what we can do this, this year, and I'm hoping that we can um, go out to the Czech Republic and really put it to them. As a final thing, obviously we're I'm stripping the car down at the moment. I'm going to uh, clean it up, make sure that we're all good to go for the next meeting at MMR. Um, hopefully, we, you know, we haven't got too much of an issue. It doesn't see, uh, I can't see anything that wrong with it. It's pretty good, but it's just nice to have a clean car when you go to the next meeting. Um, obviously, I'll keep you guys updated. It's very nice to. Uh, hear from you like in the comment section and all that sort of stuff as well so please just give us a thumbs up show us that you appreciate what we're doing and uh, we'll keep doing it for you you know so next time I'll, i might do a like a small video of the car back together ready to go for the next meeting it will be on our either our facebook page or our instagram page we'll do a short video about it so just have a look have a watch follow us we enjoy it it's this site you know if you enjoy it we enjoy it so hopefully we'll do good this season and i feel really confident about it so thumbs up